I understand that uh, some people have been writing all manners of articles. Let me make it loud and clear. Pastor Adebo is not and will never be a politician. You will bear me out. Those of you who are genuine members of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, I have never told you this is the fellow you should vote for. I have never said this is the party you should belong to. I am the father of all. And I like it that way. Listen to me carefully. So if you are going to quote me, quote me correctly. As of now, as I'm standing before you, I still don't know whether or not there will be an election next year. Don't say that Pastor Adibu said there will be no election next year. That's not what I said. What was it I said? Adeboye does not know yet. Yet. Oh. Put the word yet. How come you don't know? Because my father hasn't talked to me about it at all. The last time we had an election, he spoke to me about the election by June of the previous year. And this is April. So it's not late. But he hasn't told me yet. I don't know yet. It could be, I mean, the reason he hasn't told me yet could be because he said, take no thought about tomorrow. Sufficient for the day is the evil thereof. 2023 is here a long time away. I have a lot of things now occupying my mind for which you, my partners, must join me in prayer. Let me tell you one or two of them. Kaduna. You can't go to Kaduna by road. You can't go to Kaduna by air. They can attack you at the airport. You can't go to Kaduna by train. Question number one, why Kaduna? Question number two, who is trying to isolate Kaduna? Question number three, why? Question number four, after Kaduna, which next? Some of you are killing yourself about 2023. Number two, it is in the news. And nobody had denied it that as of now, more than 80% of the oil we are producing is being stolen. I mean, you didn't read that in the news? More than 80% of all the oil we are producing is being stolen. And nobody had denied it. It came from the government. That leads me to several questions. Number one, who is the one stealing the oil? Number two, where is the money going to? 80% of what should have been the income of a nation is going to the hand of some people. That's a lot of money, man. What do they want to do with the money? That's question number three. Question number four. Who are the foreign nations buying the stolen oil? Question number five. How many of these nations of the world are your friends? So you can see the reason why I'm not thinking of uh, 2023. Oh, maybe that's why God has not spoken to me about that because there is a lot to deal with now. Do I tell you one more thing? It is open secret. It's in the news. Undenied. That more than 90% of our income, more than 90% of the money we get from the leftover of the oil that was uh, stolen, we are using it to pay the interest of the money we have already borrowed. More than 90%. And then, it is news. Um, I'm sure you listen to the news. We are borrowing more. Meaning what? According to a friend of mine, we are moving steadily to bankruptcy. A whole nation. My beloved Nigeria is moving steadily towards... <laughs> 
bankruptcy. We are talking of today now. So you can see the reason why somebody like me, I am more concerned about what is happening now than what's going to happen a year from now. So please all my partners, wake up. We must pray again. We must pray for Kaduna. Pray for all the states. Pray for our beloved Nigeria.